at the final valedictorian speech representing the cohort of Masters of Arts in Special Educational Needs is Deborah Hughes. <laughs> Deborah Hughes is no stranger to the DES. She is the head of publicity and publication and works passionately to raise awareness of this learning difference. Deborah herself has dyslexia. All three of her children have learning difference, differences. As a result, Deborah has devoted most of the last 22 years in supporting her children's academic careers as well as helping other parents with children who have learning differences. Deborah is indeed a champion and advocate for the learning differences community. Today, she shares with us a journey which has culminated in her being awarded a Master of Arts in Special Educational Needs with Merit this year. Let us give our very own Deborah Hughes a hearty round of applause as we welcome her on stage. colleagues and fellow graduates. Um, congratulations to everyone today. This is awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, your hard work is inspirational and it's, a, it's an honour and a privilege. When I was told I was doing this, you can imagine the tears. But anyway, I'm going to get through this. My journey started 22 years ago. Actually, it was 22 years, two months, two weeks and two days exactly that I walked away from my career and started another one and I am standing here before you today. I'm the mother of three children with dyslexia. You've heard this three times already. <laughs> yes, um, and it brings its challenges. But 22 years ago when I learned that Katrina um, was diagnosed with dyslexia, um, it, was, it was a relief because she'd been years struggling in school. And uh, so my husband and I decided that uh, it was time that we needed to change our busy lives. Um, I walked away from my career um, and into a much more difficult thing, difficult role, um, a mother supporting children with learning differences. Um, it's a decision I will never regret um, because it's led me here to this stage to this place um, and it's provided me the most amazing journey. I have learned so much about myself and my abilities um, and also it's um, been an opportunity for me to advocate for children with learning differences um, but not just for my own children. Uh, so on Katrina's diagnosis um, I uh, then had a diagnosis of my eldest daughter Rachel and my son, Sean, with dyslexia and ADHD and possibly dyspraxia, the reason why I don't have any glassware in my house, um, is that I figured out that, yep, I've got dyslexia. And then I look at my husband <laughs> and I think, hmm, three children with dyslexia? Uh, you must be responsible for some of this. <laughs> and, uh, yep. Yep, I've got to take the adult dyslexia checklist and yes, he has mild tendencies of dyslexia, so together we cooked up a storm. <laughs> so I started learning everything I could about uh, dyslexia, I went to courses, I read, and then I started volunteering at school. I ended up going to school with the kids and coming home with them. Um, I volunteered to do remedial reading, I read with every child in the class. Um, I did maths, science, writing, I helped out in the library, I helped out with drama, I helped out with art, um, you name it, I did it. And uh, over time, I became a learning support assistant. Um, I was working in school and I mentored students uh, in, in, in class. 
I also was supported by some wonderful teachers who helped me to understand what it's like to support children with learning differences. I even shadowed students with Asperger's syndrome, numerous students, numerous boys. Um, and, but most importantly, everything I was learning, I was able to uh, apply at home and in supporting my children with learning differences. Um, I also became an advocate for others. Uh, I set up a learning support group for parents of, uh, who had children with special needs. And then I became the person that they would seek out for help. But um, I don't have any qualifications. And uh, because I don't have any qualifications, I couldn't get a job, paid job. Uh, so uh, when I was young, even though I had enough points to go to university, uh, after six months I dropped out, much to my father's discontent. Um, made me put that in, by the way. Uh, anyway, I had uh, no qualifications, meant that uh, I decided in my mid-40s, and June revealed that age, wonderful age I graduated, with my honours psychology degree um, from the University of... Uh, University of Singapore University of Social Science, a SUS university. I have a SUS degree, and if you're an Australian, you'll understand the significance of that. Don't worry. Anyway, <laughs> obviously you don't. Donald does, don't we? <laughs> um, I've attended every DAS conference, DAS conference, and now, of course, I organise them. And, uh, and in 2010, uh, Robin Mosley approached me at a conference and said, what are you going to do after you graduate from your degree? And I went, honestly, I'm only thinking about passing my degree uh, and I'm very stressed about this. I hadn't even considered what I was going to do after my degree. He asked me to send him my resume. I know you know why I work for DAS. Okay. I'm privileged to work with an amazing organisation full of passionate, dedicated and creative people who make a difference in the lives of children who struggle to learn. I'm also grateful for the vision and commitment towards staff professional development at DAS and the fact that I, I have been able to undertake my master's degree and I thoroughly enjoyed studying for. Uh, if it wasn't for DAS, I honestly don't think that I would be studying at this level. Undertaking my master's degree has empowered me to greater heights. And although I won't miss those late nights and writing those assignments, I will miss the experience of studying and researching and interacting with my classmates. Um, many of them were parents like me, and you have heard them today. Uh, my story is not unique. Many parents are following this journey. Uh, and it wouldn't be here today because my family and uh, they are able to join me today, but they're the reason why I've done what I've done. Uh, first, I have to thank my husband, Donald, um, for his love and support and patience, especially when you understand the chaos I have created in my home office. Um, he's the one that allowed me to start this journey 22 years ago. It was a leap of faith for both of us. It was sacrifice, and, uh, but the journey has been amazing. And uh, yes, we're here. <laughs> Next, I thank my wonderful children, Rachel, Katrina, and Sean. Now, I'm a proud, this is a proud mother speech, right? You know what this is about. Um, they are the inspiration why I'm here. Uh, they, they are also inspired me to do my master's degree. I don't think it's a coincidence, though, that all three of my children are in education. Uh, Rachel has a double degree in law and English. Uh, she works for a school in Arusha, Tanzania, uh, where they educate the poorest of the poor to ensure that education can make a difference in this developing nation. Rachel leads their VIP sponsorship team to raise those much needed funds to, end, to educate children. Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> Katrina has a double degree in primary school teaching and performing arts, and she also has a master's degree in special education needs. Um, she's a primary school teacher currently teaching a composite class of primary two and three. She has a wide range of uh, abilities in her classroom, as well as uh, students with learning differences. And who better to teach those students than a teacher who understands implicitly 
what learning differences are all about. And uh, we had a very, very, very proud event uh, last week. Uh, Katrina received a New South Wales Education Director's Award for a significant achievement in the role of an early education teacher. Also, her drama group, uh, which she teaches in her own time, recently performed at a regional competition and was the only primary school group to be included in the competition amongst secondary school students. And this is two years running. Uh, Sean is a design technology teacher working in one of the most prestigious schools in Sydney. Uh, actually, he, we knew when he, he would be a DT teacher uh, when he was in grade eight. That was his strength. Um, uh, he's the most challenged of all my children. Uh, it was important that we mapped out his career path very carefully uh, with the support of some amazing teachers who, despite his grades, uh, had the confidence in his abilities and ensured that he had a successful learning journey. Sean is currently studying for his master's degree in engineering. All three of my children have taught me so much about the positive access aspects of being successful adults with dyslexia. Because it's so true, as adults they have learned to fly. And fly very high. I'm so proud of their achievements and their successes in life, especially when compared to the very challenging educational experiences they had as children. Okay. It is a privilege to be among a group of people who have made a difference in thousands of lives. You inspire and encourage parents like me. You give parents hope that their children can succeed. Because I have looked up to you all. You have also been my inspiration. And in my role at DAS, I continue and will continue to share the wonderful work that you do and the difference that you make. And I'm glad that I can continue to be an advocate for everything that DAS does. To each and every one of you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Deborah, for such an inspiring speech. May, may I invite all graduates to